Serverless is a big topic today. When we talk about serverless with an AWS, we're talking about using a service called Lambda. Now, Lambda provides us a way to create functions, and each function is literally just a function that you code up, and it can do a thing or many things. What makes this serverless is that AWS manages all the infrastructure behind it. There's no server that you have to care about. You basically get a little environment, you define how much memory and CPU and stuff you need in that environment, and you code up a function and give that function to AWS to run when something happens. Now, what does that look like? It almost literally, not this simple, but almost literally just looks like a function you create. So here's a JavaScript function, greet. And if we want to invoke a function in AWS within Lambda, it is basically just calling a function, right? So if I do greet Chris, this will run. It says it's greeting Chris, the console.log, and it returns some text. Now, this function doesn't do much, of course, but this is essentially what it looks like to run code in a Lambda function within AWS. Now, of course, you can get very fancy with this, and this could be an entire application inside of your Lambda, which is a common thing to do. So what we're going to do in the first part of this course is just see what it looks like to use Lambda to create a function. We'll create functions here, just like here we have a list of functions. There's none in the account yet, but we'll create one soon. And then we can go ahead and look to see what happens after you create a function. For example, you can see in the dashboard here, there's some metrics from functions I had before when I was testing out before this course. And you can see there's things like error count. So some invocations of functions returned an error, some did not. We have how many invocations I did over time. So three within this block of time, two within this block of time. If there's any throttling, if I had any concurrent runs, which I did not hear, it's just all at one, how long they run for. And that is actually a build metric. So the duration of how long a function runs is build and other stuff here as well. So we'll get a feel for how to run a function, how to monitor your functions and see the logs related to any functions. We'll see what layers are and how they can help us create smaller functions and even add additional runtimes that aren't officially supported. And then eventually we'll see hooking functions up to things like API Gateway so that they can accept HTTP requests and you can actually use serverless to build up web applications. And of course, there's a lot more use cases other than that as well. So let's just go ahead in our next few videos and start diving in.